Top 5 Resident Evil Five. Code Veronica on the Dreamcast holds a few series first. Not only was it the first game in the series to take place outside of Raccoon City, it was also the first to have fully rendered environments. These new locations came with new enemies and antagonists in the form of the Ashford family. Full of psychologically traumatized upbringings and biological weapon testing on living family members, you've got the right kind of crazy for this game. The only thing I wasn't too keen on was the new supporting cast member, Steve Burnside, whose voice makes nails on a chalkboard sound appealing. But he grew on me, and left me with one burning question. Where the hell did he get those Lugers? Oh, right. Four. Code Veronica showed us some new faces and environments. Resident Evil Deadly Silence, however, took us back into the mansion in the mountains of Raccoon City. The DS port of the original Resident Evil features rebalanced enemies and gameplay, making this a great game for series newcomers. Veterans of the series were treated to some new touch-based puzzles and first-person knife fights, keeping this familiar game feeling fresh. The top screen is dedicated to the map, making it easier to figure out exactly where you needed to go next. They even added a multi-cart mode, where you can race up to three friends through the mansion to a designated exit, while fighting off the undead. Don't let this DS port fool you, it is still a solid Resident Evil experience. 3 It was a tough choice between Remake and Zero, but the prequel ultimately ended up on our list. Starring a less than well-developed supporting cast member from the previous game, you may find yourself a bit skeptical. But make no mistake, Resident Evil Zero is one of the best in the series. Playing as Star's member Rebecca Chambers and death row inmate Billy Cohen, you must survive and fight your way through the Ecliptic Express, with all kinds of nasty mutated creatures on board. Switching between Billy and Rebecca at will allows for more interesting multi-environment puzzles, especially when enemies can attack the character you're not playing at the moment. Combine that with the ability to leave items without throwing them away, and you have a game that'll keep you coming back for more. Two. This game took a lot of risks, most of which paid off immensely. Yes, there's tons more ammo for your weapons. But there are tons more enemies as well sporting a new over-the-shoulder camera that gives the player far more accuracy than ever before, and an attaché case for organizing weapons and items, you must travel through an undisclosed part of Europe to rescue the president's daughter. Smarter and more aggressive enemies await you with hatchets and dynamite, while the bosses bring new and different challenges with them. The ability to upgrade your health and weapons will help you along the way, but you will need to be on your guard. Some enemies you won't see coming or expect. Resident Evil 4 isn't just one of the most action-oriented games in the series, it also happens to be one of the best. Why? Resident Evil 2 didn't take any new leaps to speak of, but it perfected what the first game put in place. Leon is fresh from the police academy and Claire is the younger sister of Chris Redfield. The lack of experience in these characters adds to the story's atmosphere and tension. Raccoon City feels right, with a greater diversity of environments, ranging from the city streets to the police station, and the sewers underneath, everything in between. There's more enemies throughout the game, and generally more of them packed together, making you even more cautious with your ammunition. The new creatures and bosses are incredibly well designed, leaving a lasting impression. All this coupled with a story that dances around a child whose parents spend all their time with their work makes for something truly special on this form of media. Wait, don't shoot. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.
can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash yieldtomato.